Hi guys, it's Cindy the Scrapologist. I'm here, believe it or not, with a safety video. Now, how can junk journaling be dangerous? Well, I'm going to I'm going to tell you. This is just a quick video. That I'm going to show you something that I encountered. I I see on Facebook that a lot of you ask, "How do I get rid of that musty, moldy smell in my book pages and in my books?" Um, unfortunately, that smell can be an indication that the book was stored improperly. So it was probably in a cold, damp basement or an attic or wherever it was. But, but the problem with that is that if it has that smell, then it was open to be able to grow mold and mildew. Mold and mildew live off of organic materials, leather, paper, cloth, anything like that. And so over time, it can weaken the structure of the book. You'll see staining on the cover and pages, and it can really have negative effects on your health, especially for folks like me with asthma. It can really um, cause issues with breathing. So um, mold is, I mean, we've all heard about black mold where we're all becoming more and more familiar, I think, with not wanting to have mold in your environment. So please don't bring it into your home in the form of books. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what you can look for. I don't have examples of all of this, but some of it I do. So sometimes what you'll see is um, you'll see like a white powder and um, spots or flaking on the on the book that could be more mildew um, but it's often accompanied it often accompanies mold oftentimes if you see the mildew you're going to see the mold and the first key that you might have a problem is that old book smell the old book smell and maybe some visible water damage or powdery white powdery flaking so um in this particular book, um, I did not follow my own hard and fast rule by checking for mold and mildew before I started cutting this apart, which I somebody gifted me these old law books, and I had cut apart two of them already, so I really wasn't, um, it wasn't on my radar to check this book too, but I wish I had. Um, I mean, I'm not going to die or anything, but... Um, yeah, I, I don't want to be exposed to this stuff. So the first thing is it has a really bad smell. Um, but like I said, the other two were okay. And there's some evidence of mold in the corner here. I'm sorry for the focus going in and out, but I have to have it because I want to put this up to the camera to show you up close. So we've got a little bit there. Um, but the main thing is when I cut open the spine... I hope this is going to focus enough, but if you see right along here, this is mold, and it's all fuzzy, and it can flake off, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see that good enough. Come on, camera. Okay. Um, the other thing is sometimes you will see it right in the center of the book. I'm sure you can see this black mold going all down the center of the book. And um, another example would be, this is something else that I had in my stash that I wasn't aware, aware of. It was kind of... Um, in between something else and it does have water staining on it which is why I liked it but now that I'm looking at it it is developing black mold you can see the spots on it um, and this here is not going to show in the camera but this is mildew that's starting to to flake and it's growing mold so you can um, once you've identified it, you can remove the mold and mildew. You definitely do not want it near any other books because it's going to spread. Like I said, it loves leather, loves cloth, loves paper. 
you can remove it. Um, it's easy. It's easy from the outside of a dry book. You can use a, a um, cloth lightly dampened with denatured alcohol to kill the mildew. There are other things you can do. There's a really good um, article on this on biblio.com, which I'll I'll link below. And it also tells you how you can mold, uh, remove the mold from the pages of a dry book. You slide a sheet of wax paper underneath the moldy page, and then you use a soft brush to get rid of, rid of it, and you carefully treat it with hydrogen peroxide. I don't want to use a brush and disturb this and put it up into the air and into my lungs. I'm super sensitive to it. Um, I'm not that much in love with this book. And uh, I, one time I was messing around with some old newspapers and I ended up with a rash on both, both forearms. So I'm super sensitive to it. I have asthma. I have elderly people in the home. I just don't want this book in the house. So this, this is going out. I'm not even going to mess with it. So um, I'm, the reason I'm bringing this up is, like I said on Facebook, I see a lot of people who are bringing these musty, smelly books into their home or book pages and wanting to know how to how to get rid of that smell which is a whole other whole other subject but I just wanted to say if you are doing that please maybe just look down into the spine open the book carefully and just look into the spine area that's usually the first place you're going to see it if you don't see obvious water damage make sure that you're not bringing something that unsafe or harmful into your home and um, you know it's it's not worth it we can find plenty of old books these days that that are safe and fun to use so I hope this is helpful please give me a, a, a like down below and subscribe if you wouldn't mind helping my channel out and I will see you for another tip in the next video thanks for watching bye bye